pas Mr. Cat. Okay, Mr. Cat, imagine this is Ratatouille and he's into your restaurant, man. You get, you gotta finish him, finish him. He cannot, he cannot walk on your face, man. This is your restaurant. You gotta, you gotta perform, man. You're the new waiter in charge of the kitchen. Mr. Cat, if we open a restaurant and there's a rat, it's not gonna work, man. You got one job. You got one job. The serving customer, I don't think you're gonna be able to take their their orders. Yo, Mr. Cat, if this cooking show doesn't work, you're gonna have to go work as a waiter. So, already you gotta you gotta train a little bit yourself, man, because your hunter career has been going down. Mr. Cat was outside. Mr. Cat is a cat that go outside with a leech, but we got a little space for him to go without leech and just chill. Yesterday I was cooking and I just heard a big noise and there was just this huge O that Mr. Cat has done. All I see is two cats that are looking the same, you know. They're just Mr. Cat and another cat that is white and black. It's like, they, you know, the same little, little like black eyes and like butter and there's one cat this guy who's kind of being aggressive <laughs> and the other cat who's just like it's a little bit scared you know super chill so yeah I'm just wondering like who's wh where's Mr. Cat who's Mr. Cat in between those two I couldn't know because it was during the during the night it was super dark and like they were looking the same and the two cats were basically the same cat at one point I kind of figure out that the cat that one cat was more scared of me than the other but yeah so Mr. Cat did a big O again you know all right, Mr. Cat, we gotta cook, man. No more time for messing around. Okay, it's time to cook, Mr. Cat. So yeah, this is bowl, and you know what goes into bowl? F food. <laughs> Today we're doing soup, man. Soup has been a different situation. Everybody did soup in, in some type of way. You know, every culture. Everybody add their soup. If you were rich, you know, one of your 30, 30 meal might be a soup, you know, and you're just like, oh, soup. <laughs> to start the meal perfectly, you get a little soup. <laughs> you know, the, the royalty eats soup. Uh, the peasant, you know, the freaking peasant, the poor people to not waste food, they just do a couple of soup. During war, what, what, what do you think guys were doing? They were eating soup so much easy you know the soup is all over the place there's not there's it's not unique to some place everybody got a soup you know if it's winter you want to eat a soup if it's summer you want to eat like a gazpacho or cold soup it, people don't know how to make great soup people see soup as something easy you know they, they see a can of soup and they're like oh yo soup is trash don't make me a soup or i'm gonna freaking beat you but yeah, so this one's gonna be really great. We're gonna do a minestrone soup. Okay, that was stupid. Fully simulating that pasta. Coming out to you. All right, this is our freaking mountain of ingredient, dude. Yeah, so that's what minestrone is all about. A bunch of veggies from the season you're in. And legit, I mean, people will argue, but in general, you can put whatever you want into minestrone. I, just put any veggie you got in season. We got some carrot, we got some little potato. I like little potato. I got some green beans. I got some asparagus that are in season and they're looking uh, pretty great. Look at this. We got some onion, got some celery, and I'm adding a little bit of a uh, a little bit of beans. You can use any type of beans. I like I like the white beans there. They're pretty cool, but if you want to go red beans or black beans, go for it, man. Go crazy. So yeah, for the seasoning, we got some thyme, a little bit of dry oregano, a little bit of bay leaf, some parsley, uh, a little bit of citrus at the end if you want. So uh, citrus, I will say optional. And yeah, for the sauce, we're going to put a little bit of old tomato that we're going to cut. Going to chop them a little bit so, they be, so they're not too big. And the rest of it is just gonna be chicken stock or veggie stock or whatever stock you want. I always eat it with a little bit of bread. So I, I, you gotta have bread. I don't know, soup with bread. Just dipping in, in there. It's a perfect match. And, and we're gonna heat it up. We're gonna put some gruyere on top. No gruyere with all of this. It's gonna be magical. Oh, I forgot. Forgot important ingredient right there. If you got, you know, I always use those big parmesan stuff and usually I end up with those 
those pieces of parmesan flavor when you're doing soup because you, you just put them in there and they're gonna slowly give flavor and since you're gonna cook it for a long time it's gonna work well so little pieces of parmesan little little crust of par parmesan is gonna be perfect all right first we're gonna do our pasta i got some simmering down the bowl and i'm slowly adding the water until everything is looking nice and homogenous then we're gonna put all this big mix into the machine and then we let the machine do the work man this is easy pasta the pasta go out and we cut it we're gonna cut it small you want small little piece for the soup and you're gonna end up with a breathtaking result oh my god this looks amazing all right now we gotta get onto the main event the soup we put some olive oil into the pan and then we're gonna go with our first step of cooking which is a carrot the onion the celery and the potato really important to salt every time you add something we're gonna let that sweat a little bit and then we're gonna add the garlic and then we're gonna add our chicken stock and tomato put the dry herb and the parmesan crust and we're gonna bring this to a bowl and we're gonna let that cook for eight minutes after the eight minutes we're gonna add our green beans the asparagus and the white beans we're gonna let those bad boys cook for a six minute cover up and then when it's all done we're gonna add our pasta and you want to keep everything covered so you don't lose too much liquid but if you lose too much liquid you can always add liquid it doesn't matter and then we're gonna let them cook until our pasta is ready and finish the seasoning if it needs salt and pepper and there we have it perfect soup and to go with the soup we're gonna do a garlic butter so i just put parsley and garlic with some butter and i'm adding the gruyere on top i'm gonna put this bread onto broil until it's looking nice and sexy like this all right it's plating time the plating is pretty simple we put soup into a bowl because bowl get food in there and you know you know how it works then we're gonna put a little lemon onto the side if you need some a little bit of parsley because we're fancy and we put our garlic bread to the side and there we have it guys the perfect soup minestrone you can throw your soup Campbell to the garbage man after that you won't go back I I'm gonna do the squeeze of lemon you don't have to if you don't want to unacceptable Let's just dive into it and let's see what, what type of flavor do we got here because it's looking a freaking flickish good. Mm. Mm. Oh wow. Yeah. Mm. Right, question of the day. If you have between three chores, okay? So either you become somebody who don't eat dairies so nothing dairy is no dairy product or either you become someone who no carbs so no no pasta no no bread or you become a vegetarian um excuse me isn't there anything here that doesn't have meat in it possibly the meatloaf well i believe you're required to provide a vegetarian alternative Yeah, it's rich in bunly goodness. Do you remember when you lost your passion for this work? And you gotta become one. Which one do you choose? Which one do you become? I will say right away, non-dairy is a hell no. I'm a big cheese guy. You know, I, I just love cheese. I use a lot of cream in recipes, you know, and it's just always super good. Carbs. Carbs is probably the one that I... I could see myself giving up carbs, good buddy, it would be so tough. I mean, I'm all about the pasta life. And the last one is vegetarian, which, to be honest, it would be a little bit tough to give up bacon. I mean, my, my good friend bacon. But all around, vegetarian would be pretty doable. You know, I could see myself, be, like, I, I, a lot of the meal I do is vegetarian. I mean, this one you put uh, veggie broth. And this is pretty much vegetarian. So all around vegetarian would be doable. Vegan, I, I that would be a big step. Vegan would be a big step because I would have to give up dairy product. I think like probably probably 50% of the meal I eat in a day are vegetarian in general. I'm, I'm more, like I said, I'm more of a carbs and dairy eater. I mean, carbs and dairy are probably in every single one of my meal. <laughs> If you're not inspired for the soup du jour, I highly propose that. It's gonna be flavorful. It's superb. Oh, ho, ho, ho. But yeah, thank you all for watching. It's been a freaking pleasure, man. It's been amazing. What an amazing day. See you on another episode. Peace.